Earth energies, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising of this cross-watching, welcome to your Tower Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and explore who will be your next romantic prospect. So who will you end up with next? Okay, what kind of relationship will you have with them? Will you get married? Um, will it last? Uh, where will you meet this person? What will they look like? What will they do for a living? What is their blood type? No, I'm kidding about the blood type, but we'll try and get as much detail as we can about them. Um, so I'm going to give the cards a shuffle and we're going to see what comes up for you. This is a general reading, guys, so it is going to be, you know, general messages that come up here. Um, just please be mindful of that. If you're after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. Okay, so who is your next person here? Who's your next special person? Okay, so I'm going to do that with the cards because I can. <laughs> okay, so... I'm just going to pick out a few cards that I feel really drawn to. I'm going to start with this one right here, the Page of Swords. Okay, so a bit of a younger energy, so there could be someone younger than yourself. There could be a bit of an age gap here or someone who's got a very youthful energy around them. Okay, so um, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius here. Geminis tend to be very playful, very, you know, um, curious um someone very witty natural wordsmith here so great conversationist someone very curious um someone who loves to learn someone who's very inquisitive very open to the world around them um, i do feel like this person is studying i also feel like they dabble a lot they may have like an online business or i'm seeing them they're very active on social media or like um such platforms but i feel like it's either for for business or um if it is fun i feel like it definitely generates them um, income there. I'm also seeing that it's very likely the two of you might meet each other online as well. Some of you might connect online. It could be via dating app, it could be via social media here. Um, fencing here, this person could do fencing, ha have a love for fencing here. Um, they've got a lot of energy, okay? So here's the thing with this person. This person has a lot of energy here to expel, a very active mind. So very chatty, maybe even sometimes too chatty. They're always talking here. Um, just going back to that energy here, they're very restless here. So I feel like they're very fidgety here. They may even have um, uh, ADD here. Okay, because I feel like they're very fidgety. They've got a lot of energy to expel here. Very restless here. Um, they can get easily distracted as well. They can get easily distracted here. This is someone very tall here. I'm seeing that this person likes... Um, I feel like they've got long hair, even like for males here. I feel like I'm, I'm seeing that they, they may be rocking a man bun here for some of you. For females, I feel like this person has long hair, but I, I see it's being tied back a lot. Two of Wands. You might also meet this person whilst doing traveling, okay? Whilst um, you, you'll travel for either business or for leisure purposes, or they may be in your country on like a visa, working visa, or even like a student visa. Um, or study visa of some sort here. Um, again, for some of you, I did mention that you might meet each other online here. So via digital communication, that's how it might start here. For some of you, you might meet this person outside of your own country, city or state here. Someone, this is someone who's very passionate. This is someone who is very, they've got a lot of future plans. There's a lot of, um, they've got, yeah, they've got a lot of plans and high ambitions for themselves and their future here. They've traveled a lot and they will be doing a lot of, a lot more traveling for the future here. Um, they have a hard time making up, a, making up their mind though, a little indecisive. A little indecisive purely because they want they want everything and they want to get everything done all at once okay so you know again that a lot of energy to expel here what else they may even have I feel like they may even have businesses or investments like property investments here overseas here I feel like this ties overseas they their parents may be born overseas here or they themselves could be from a different like cultural background to you for some of you, for some of you, this person even has like a really nice exotic accent here. The two of you also will be doing a lot of traveling in the future here. You'll be doing a lot of traveling, exploring, sightseeing together here. Or even if they are in like, if they live in the same country as you, I feel like the two of you will be doing a lot of exploring. It's almost like you're, you're tourists in your own country. Again, it's that whole curious nature of them. 
of this. Okay. Page of Wands. Again, I do feel like this person... For, for some of you, this is someone younger than you, okay? You're looking at someone younger than you, but hey, age is just a number, okay? And if they're not younger than you, then they certainly may act like a, younger than you. Not that they're childish, but I feel like they've got very a very youthful energy. Forever young is what I get when um, I think of them here. They're very fun, very exciting to be around with a bit of a daredevil, a bit of an adventurer. Um, they're always up to something, sometimes even up to no good here. A little bit cheeky, a little bit mischievous here. Definitely someone who likes to explore, loves learning new things, loves, tr loves trying new things, loves um, you know, trying new foods, different adventures, going different places, meeting different people. They love learning. They're, they're very stimulated by the outside environment here. For some, this um, for some of you, this is someone who's from a very. I'm getting like that. They could be middle Middle Eastern, or I feel like they may have grown, may have lived or grown grown up there. Um, for for others of you, I'm picking up Australian as well, um, South African. Um, I feel like they're, they're from somewhere where it gets really hot, like very humid, very like tropical, very warm. Okay. Um, Glass is always half full, better yet it's refillable with this person. Um, great energy, a lot of energy to be around with. Um, yeah, very restless energy, very restless. They're always doing something. It's really hard to sort of get them to sit down and um, do nothing. Um, very ambitious, very driven here. I mean, I feel like they're always looking at the good, like the upside of things. They're always looking at the sunny side of things, you know. I always see the glasses half full rather than half empty here. I'm getting long hair. I did mention long hair on this individual. Even if it's a um, if it's a male, they rock a man bun and they rock it well. Um, they've got their own unique sense of style. I feel like this person is tall, okay, but they've got their own or they st they've got really good posture. I'm, see I'm seeing really good posture around them. They've got their own style here. They do. They've got their own sense of dress style here. Okay, what else? This one that's buried under all the other cards. The Eight of Swords here. Okay, so what do we get with the Eight of Swords? Yeah, you've got strong fire or air energy so far here. Okay. <laughs> You know, this person doesn't like feeling trapped or restricted, okay? They're very independent here sometimes for them. I mean, the type of relationship you're going to have, guys, is a little bit non-conventional with the Page of Swords, okay? They, purely because you might first start off as casual dating or you might start off as a casual arrangement or they may be like a fluctuating presence in and out of your life. Um, I feel like they want to test the waters first. There's also that fear of them being... Um, stripped away from their individuality or their independence you know they're scared of being constricted refined pinned down here so you know this is them fearing that here um they they're scared of having you know having their hands tied here i feel like they might have even been in an abusive relationship in the past t where i feel like maybe their partner he has mistreated them in the past and because of you know they just sort of take it um, they've sort of just tolerated that. Okay, the two of pentacles, more frivol frivolous, sorry, more frivolous energy around this person. Um, they like doing a lot of things, um, and they like doing, um, they always like to keep busy here. I feel like this person may even, they may even have two, um, businesses going, or they have, may even have two different, like, income streams coming from two different, like, um, avenues here. Uh, they could also be studying and working here. They're constantly doing things. I feel like there's always somewhere that they need to be, something that they need to do. Um, they love wearing hats as well. I'm seeing caps or hats for a, a lot of for a lot of you. Um, your relationship with them is going to be a little bit up and down, okay? And I say this because it's very unpredictable, okay? They're a bit of a fluctuating presence. You know, the Page of Swords is unconventional. The Page of Wands is excitement. You know, a, a chaser of um, excitement here. So they're a little bit unpredictable. You, you never know what will come next out of their mouths. You'll never know what they're going to say. You never know what they're going to do. Um, but that's going to, you know, excite and appeal to a lot of you. Um, maybe not the inconsistencies with their actions here where I feel like they may come in and out of your life. 
um, or you may start off as casual dating or casual arrangement, you know, that fear of wanting to put a title or a label to it. But I feel like this person is going to bring a lot of excitement into your life, okay? Um, I also feel like they're going to sweep you off your feet. They'll come out of nowhere. I, I don't even know. They'll just come out of nowhere. You know, one day, bam, the two of you are just going to match on a dating app or you're just going to connect or they're just going to reach out and slide into your DMs. It's just that they literally come out of nowhere and they just, you know, sort of whisk you away here on this romantic adventure. There's a lot of excitement, that they, a lot of passion that they'll bring into this connection here. And I feel like that's what will keep you coming back for more. And that's why you'll tolerate their sort of inconsistencies at times. But for the most part, what might start off as a casual, I feel like might, you know, eventuate into something a little bit more long term. But it's going to take a while to get there purely because this person needs to feel like they need to earn, you know, your, your trust. Alright guys, so these are the messages that I have for you. I just want to thank you all for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing or commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Bye for now.